if you watched the previous section now we are supposed to do and create a dynamic search for list of my cars let me explain in postman this is postman i want to have an endpoint to do search you can say it's very easy yeah it's very easy but imagine that one time i want to search through made in and color one time i do not want to have the color one time i do not want to have made in then everything would be kind of dynamic as i said there is so many silly ways to create so many input parameters or such things the issue is that now even if we want to choose the silly way now i am dealing with four five six maximum ten properties but or real domains which is related to tax is serious sometimes some of our models uh, should have or has more than 200 property then choosing a silly way means killing yourself so now i'm going to introduce a better way but let me mention this it is not from me it's something a standard in programming which makes everything much much easier than choosing a silly way let me explain as i said i'm not the creator of these things it's something in programming mostly in c sharp dynamically composing expressions predicates you can read suppose you want to write a link to sql or entity framework query that implements a keyword style search okay here they explain that you can do searching but here they said if you don't want to search on all the keywords then what should you do then they said the solution is predicate builder predicate builder is something that should be just used this is the way to use but before that you need something like this please pay attention there is variety of versions of predicate builders some vigilant developers or talented developers creating created better things better predicate builder classes but i'm going to use something as small and minimal like this so let, let me jump to visual studio first of all i created a new folder and called it infra inside the infra i have this class predicate builder this is one of the versions of predicate builders that i found on the internet in stack overflow something like that from this uh, section i will uh, give you the whole code inside github also so don't worry you're gonna have all of these things this is something that i just paste here inside the predicate builder how should we use inside the car repo i created a new method which returns the i queryable for car and the name is get car by search the entry is the whole entity of car and i have used 
The predicate builder like this. Car is the entry. Then I check the brand, made in, and the color. The things that I want to be able to have search on them. And then like this. In the where clause, I use that predicate and result. That's all. Then inside my controller also, I have something like this. The whole entity would be passed to the get car by search and we call the corresponded method from the kind of repository that we have and then we return the result the method name inside my endpoint would be search let me fire and see if i look for something made in germany with black color, it would be found like this. But the issue is, I have other German cars also. The problem is that my search now is totally useless. Why? Because if I remove the brand like this, my search can't be done why because inside my entity the brand field is mandatory so how can i do and how can i have a search without brand to find all the german cars i was supposed to even remove the color and say just give me the german cars that's all but I can't because the brand is a problem. I have to handle brand. If I do that, it would find just Ben's cars for me. So what should I do? What is the problem? The problem is that I was an idiot. In terms of programming, I made a big mistake. I did it on purpose, but in the next section, I will explain the total solution to solve such problems. Let me give you a hint from now. Never, 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 never use your models or I can say entities outside of the core of your domain. I have used my car model as the parameter of my endpoints, my action methods. I have used it everywhere. It's very, very, very bad. One of the things that can be happen is this. You could see it stopped me searching properly. So what is the solution? Come with me to the next section.